Our project was aimed at solving the problem of documenting dance media files for the purpose of accessing within a social dance setting to reenact specific dance productions. There are various methods of storing dance, the most modern being digital archives. However, due to the rich semantic content of dance media files and the volume at which dance media files are available, it becomes a challenge to search a database for specific dance content. I will now further speak about the dance annotation tool that I have developed, which I have named Metadance. In an attempt to solve the problem of documenting dance media in a digital platform, I focused purely on developing a solution that incorporates a dance vocabulary for individuals to use when annotating media files. This was implemented through the development of a dance ontology which provided the annotation tool with the dance vocabulary to annotate media files. This was attached to the final project submission. The annotation tool was developed in a mobile platform as the project brief stated that the implemented solution be easily accessible within a social dance setting. Therefore, a mobile application would work better in such a situation. The dance terms collected through the web scraping and natural language processing was used to develop the dance ontology implemented within the annotation tool. Only dance terms for salsa and cha-cha-cha were collected to demonstrate the reusability of the method used to collect dance terms. As a result, the following dance ontology structure was developed. As can be seen from the slide, the general structure of the ontology includes dividing terms associated with salsa and cha-cha-cha. Each dance contains its own specific difficulty levels under which each dance move collected was categorized. Some dance moves were found within both salsa and cha-cha-cha. Each dance move can then also be classified as an action. The ontology can be further scrutinized by evaluating the OWL file submitted with the code submission. A mobile application had then been developed to use the terminology of the ontology for the annotation process. Currently, users are only able to annotate using predefined terms for salsa and cha-cha-cha. Otherwise, users have the freedom to annotate their videos using the self-defined terms. Since it is a mobile application, it is easily accessible within all social settings to retrieve dance productions that have been annotated. I will now demonstrate the main functionality of the tool, which is the annotation process. I will be demoing the annotation of a cha-cha-cha dance video that has predefined annotations on the video already to show how well the dance ontology has been developed for providing users with a dance vocabulary for annotating. Firstly, we will select a video from the device for annotating. This is the cha-cha-cha beginner's routine. Users are firstly required to enter a name for the video that they will be annotating. When they are required to select the dance type to indicate to the tool which terms it would need to obtain for users if they select the predefined annotation option. The user then selects the difficulty level if they know it, otherwise they are able to select the uncategorized option. Then they are able to choose their dance move. The dance moves listed are automatically filtered based on the difficulty level selected. Otherwise, all the dance moves are listed. Users have the option of annotating the dance move with action moves to further describe the dance move. However, it is not necessary. And lastly, the user is able to add any additional notes in the area below. The user then adds the annotation and is able to submit the video to the system. If not submitting, the user can add multiple annotations to the same video. For the purpose of the demonstration, we will be adding another annotation so that we are able to navigate to the database to see whether the video has been added or not. From here, we are able to add more annotations, edit annotations, and delete annotations, not forgetting that we are able to delete the video from the database as well. From the screen, we can see the plus symbol over here would allow us to add additional annotations to the same video. 
we are also able to edit existing annotations. Otherwise, we are able to delete them. We are also able to delete the video information from the tool. Information from the tool.